Um, what should we do next? I can take a look at our previous day. We had a breadth first search, not this one. 12. Yeah, and we were trying to figure this out and make this faster because it's very, very slow right now. If I say cargo run 2022 12. Uh, I think in debug mode, it takes like 35 seconds to solve part two. Uh, <clears throat> which is pretty bad. Um, and that's because I'm using this uh, flood fill thing instead of a breadth first search. So it might be it might be worth just fill, fooling around with this, making this a little bit faster. Um, what's the way, how do we work breadth first search? Um, so we need to keep track of, of what we've seen. We need to keep track of where to look next. And then we have these get surrounding points and uh, the validity checker. Oh, that's going to be complicated. So what we can do, I guess, is what we can do is put this in here. Oh, yeah. And then somebody pointed out that this, this check is wrong. Somehow it works, but it's wrong. And so... <laughs> um, filter, pause... Um, self grid pause zero pause one and I think we have to say is less than or equal to cur elevation plus one yeah and that way we can just say valid here All right, and that that'll allow us to do this a little bit better, right? So we have we need a hash set. Let mud visited is equal to hash set new, and then let mud q is equal to vec deck new. Um, we've visited the start point. and then our Vec deck is going to have a list of insert, uh, let's say, a start point dot clone comma zero for distance. And then we basically we pop each one off as we go. We can say while not Q is empty. You now while let sum Q is equal to Q pop. We get the valid points that we can go to. Let valid let's call this location just like we did for the other one. Um, and then we have to check. We have to check to see if we hit the end, right? We also have to filter out all the ones that have been seen. So for v invalid, if not visited dot insert uh, v dot zero dot clone, then continue. I mean, so this is saying if we if we couldn't insert it into the hash set because it's already existing in the hash set, that means we've already seen it. And v dot zero is the point. Oh. It should be the point. Yeah, lock is. Oh, oh, oh. Hmm. Yeah, so I guess it's just v.clone. My mistake. I was thinking that location. So now if v is equal to the endpoint that we're looking for. Um, how did we figure that out? Self-end. Then we want to return um, sum lock dot one plus one. Otherwise, we're going to queue insert 
at the end q dot push oh this is pump front right and this should be pushed back although it doesn't matter for that one it doesn't matter for this one uh, v dot clone comma lock dot one plus one And then this is not. That that I think that's a, the breadth first search in a nutshell. Um, let's see if it compiles. Uh, first, we have to switch this over here to um, 2022 12, and that way we can run bacon. Oh, cur elevation, right. So um, I have to pass that in or I have to take it uh, from somewhere. There. And so lock its pause. All right, so that's that one. A hash set doesn't exist. Import it. Now, how did it do that? Oh, it, just, it did throw it inside there. Very nice. Very clever. Okay. Um, and then we don't have VecDeck, so let's import that. And look at that. Put it right there. That's sweet. Uh, 133. Points not found. Oh, right, because now this has to be valid. Except we don't want that to be valid. <laughs> okay. Well, we're getting rid of this anyway. Let's blow it away. Boom. Gone. All right. Let's see. Now, find shortest doesn't work. We BFS. What's wrong with lock? Expected U size. Found tuple. Oh, lock dot zero. Right. And then this one it doesn't like because this needs to be a tuple. Yeah, okay. Two warnings. Oh, we're not using hash map. Um, no code actions available. Dang. I was hoping that there'd be a nice code action to take that out of there. All right, so let's see if this runs any faster. I'm going to run it here so I don't. And we know what the answers are, 468 and 459. Okay. Okay. So I think we would agree that that's much, much faster. This took a half a second for my old version and using a breadth first search now only takes um, that much, 26 milliseconds. And we went from 36 seconds down to two. Uh, if we run it release, Kafka says, is there a reason you avoid A star? Yes. The reason I avoid A star is because I have to look it up every single time and then I have to have the Wikipedia page on one side and my code on the other side and I'm just saying I don't have it memorized whereas breadth first search I have memorized, right? Because I was able to just do this off the top of my head. Um, maybe the more, if, if I do A star more often, um, I would get it into my uh, muscle memory. But yeah, I mean, the breadth first search kind of works, so I don't know. Um, and somebody was uh, commenting on my one. Of the, so I post these, I edit them and post them up on YouTube. And somebody on YouTube said, uh, suggested for part two, going, just going from the end to the start or end to the first A that you find. And that might be faster than starting at every single A. Because right now, the way I do it for part two is I find all the A's. Uh, and then I loop over each one in, until I find the shortest, uh, the shortest one using min. Um, but it might be easier to start at E and work your way back to A, but then this, um, we'd have to change this filter condition. Um, and my brain doesn't have the um, capacity to think about how to do how to go backwards right because zyx w it's just it's less you have to make sure that the the new location you're going to is less than or equal to 
Is that true? You can't go from A to C, but you can go from C to A. You can go from B to A. So you'd have to, so going backwards, you'd have to make sure that it's only, it can only be one less. It can be greater than, or it can be one less than, or equal to. Um, so I don't know if, if we want to try doing that and then speed up part two even more by starting at E and going to the first A. Um, but going to the first A means I would have to pass in a list of possible endpoints. So instead of doing this V equals self end, I could just say V equals self start. I'd have to say, look at the end point and is it an A? And if it's an A, then, or I could say, here's the letter you're looking for. Oh no, I can't do that because we don't want to do a Z because there could be other Z's and they would be the wrong Z. Kafka says not necessary. You can just check stop at height equals one. Yeah. So how am I, how am I storing? It? I've already forgotten how I'm storing it. Yeah. U eights. And yeah. So it would have to be yeah. So whatever whatever the height is of a. Yeah. Um, so we could do that. You're absolutely right. We could check here. Um, if we're if we're searching backwards, right? We could say if backwards. And now V is the, the thing, right? So I could say in grid V.0, V.1 is equal to A. Then return. So I could add that here, right? Let's see how bad this is. Um, but again, the surrounding points would have to change. I wonder if I could. Can I pass that in? Um, a function to do that. Right, we could do that. Let me just pass into um, BFS. Um, we're going to do a false for backwards here and a true here oops um, but we want to then start at the endpoint so let me comment this out I might get this to work um, and then copy that paste that here and send self start we say self end true Right, and now I think what, maybe what I can do is I can pass this in as a function, um, except I've forgotten how to do that. Uh, F, F, N, U size, U, oh, U size, returning a bool. Can you do that? And then this just becomes filter F. And then here, comma, this. No? Oh, because cur elevation. Oh. Um, this is wrong. OK. So we do want to take in a U size, U size, and then uh, an elevation. And the elevation is U8, I think. Does that work? And then we can say filter F pause cur elevation. I don't know what I'm doing, in case you couldn't tell. Um, I forgot a comma there. OK. And now we can't chuck, oh, self grid. All right.
add a din keyword before this tree. Um, I thought you could just pass in things like this and define a function that way. I didn't think you had to do a din. What is this saying? I don't think that's right. I'm going to put it there anyway and see what happens. Yeah, now size is not specified. So, um, Rust, let's do here. Rust pass pointer to function. Ampersand din. Really? I didn't think you had to do that. And now you can't call it. Expected fn mute this. That's that's weird. Yeah, it needs to return a bool, which this does. Am I missing? What am I missing here? And it takes in a tuple of u size, u size, and ua, which is what this does. Oops. Um, here. So pause. Oh, pause is unknown. Um, lock. Oh, basically I want to pass this in as a, a, yeah. It takes two arguments, pause and elevation, and then that's what we're passing in here. All right. I don't know, cargo build. Let's just see the error message this way. Expected this closure found bool. Oh, do I, oh, do I do it this way instead? Um, pause, like that. Expected tuple found u size, u size. Type must be known by this point. So how do I create a closure here on, All right, this is what, I, this, oops, that doesn't work either. I mean, do I have to say pause, u size, u size? Elevation U8. Arguments to this function are incorrect. Expected reference found a closure. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to pass in a closure. Okay, maybe that's what I need to look up. Rust pass closure. This is very, oh, lowercase f. No, that wasn't it. This is passing a function. How do I pass a closure in? Returning closures. Oh, it is, yeah, it is with a capital F for closure. Um, but I, apparently this is not a closure, so let's take a look here. It's suggesting pass, oh, putting an ampersand in front. All right, that builds. And let's see if it's still in debug mode. Is oh, it comes up with the wrong answer. Oh, right, because, right, we're not done yet. Um, we have to pass in the correct closure for forwards versus backwards. All right, so I think we're we're getting close. Um, if 
backwards, then we're going to do one thing else. We're going to else we're going to do this other thing. There. So what would what's the appropriate closure? What, and what's bugging me is that when I need to put a, um, an ampersand, I, there should be a way to do closures without having to stick an ampersand in front. Um, Kafka says, oh, Epic Blog says lowercase fn is an enclosure. Yeah, so <laughs> the compiler told me. Um, Kafka says, isn't the compare the same? You just switch arguments. So we're trying to walk backwards, right? So we're trying to see is the place we're going to greater than our current location, equal to our current location, or and so it's greater than or equal to the new location minus one. I th that's what I'm thinking. So it's this. So is that the same thing? Oh, I got this backwards. Greater than or equal to that, minus one. I have no idea. Uh, it doesn't even like it. Oh, so maybe we do this. <laughs> I was just looking at the temporary, use temporary while bar. Oh, and now these have incompatible types. Oh, okay, so we can't do it inside there. But these, okay. Mm. Yeah, see, this is this is where my brain, I, I just, my brain doesn't have the active memory capacity to keep all of the pieces in my head at the same time. Um, oh, I just have to cast the type. Okay, you can do that as fn u size u size u8. I didn't think you could do that. I didn't think that was a Rust thing you could do. I thought you could only only do as with. Um, primitive types. Now it doesn't like it at all. You can for F and pointers. Yeah. I, mm. So mm, I, I can't <laughs> valid equals self. I can either do it this way, lock dot zero. If backwards do it this way right fn double open oh you're right i'm missing my the close on the tuple argument okay that was it harper check three errors um the first error is this thing here is not a it's a mismatch type cube sudor thank you for the follow Let's take a look at the cargo build. Expected unit found bool. Yeah, I want it to be a bool. I mean, I want it to return a bool. Oh, I, no, that's why. Invalid cast. Uh, you can't cast that way, or do I have to... Um, Surround the whole thing with with uh, brackets in order to. No, that doesn't help. Um, I could probably make a type. Can I define a type here? Type my func equals fn u size u size u eight. Cool. Do I have to do it outside? And then I can just say as my func. Oh, then it's then it's not casting it to a primitive type, right? Invalid cast. 
Uh, Kafka says might be the closure throwing the wrench. Yeah, I'm I'm also a little bit surprised that the closure won't work just like this. Right? It's saying I need to pass in a reference to a function. I know there's a way you can pass closures to functions without having to put an ampersand in front of it. And I don't know why I don't know why it's forcing me to do that. But here's what we'll do is let me put all that back so I have both ways. Um, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that, and we can just put the else if backwards here, oh, here, here. Self gets surrounding points this way. If we're going to do it backwards, we do it this way. Um, close paren there, else. We don't need the ampersand there. Else this. Semicolon? No. Uh, semi, yeah, semicolon. Okay, that was kind of a mess. I don't know if this is going to work. It didn't even compile uh, because I forgot the ampersands here. Two warnings. And we got a panic call on option unwrap none value. Oh, here, it could, so it couldn't find a path. It couldn't find a path to the location we were looking for. Uh, that's a shame. Yeah, so I must have the 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 this wrong then, right? Um so maybe uh, let me see I, if I understand you correctly, Kafka. It's elevation plus one less than equal to this. So it's just backwards. No, it still it still can't find the path that way. Yeah, I my my brain is just not. So the elevation the pause is where we are. The elevation is where we want to go to. So that elevation plus one has to be. Oh, greater than or equal to, right? And it's just not able to to get. Oh, oh yeah. Now it's thirteen. So that's that, and that's the wrong answer. Um, is there a way we can using the breadth first search to to trace the path? Um, and I'm just trying to understand your your most recent comment. Uh, I think it's possible if you don't capture the environment, but you do. So by grabbing this means I need to have a reference. It's 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 making me put the reference here. Oh, is it because I'm capturing that there? Okay. If I had it a separate all right, I don't know. All right. So if elevation plus one, where where we want to go is plus one. So if we want to go, let's say we're looking to see, can we go from S to C? Elevation plus one, which would be D, is not greater than that. So we can't go that way. And that's correct. Let's try A to B. So B going to A should work. Yeah, so if elevation of where we're going to is plus one, which is B, is greater than or equal to the location we're looking at. Oh, wait, so pause is where we want to go. Elevation is where we currently are. Right, and I think I had this that way before, right? With the minus. Elevation is where we are, and this is where we want to go. And we can't find a path to any A from our endpoint. Did I put endpoint in there? I did. Let me add to visit it, and we can just dump this out. Add to visit it the, the distance we've gotten so far. Um, so we'll do that here. Ooh, is that going to even work, though? Let's 
it's yeah now it's not working because the visit is oh no 468 okay but it took five seconds instead of wow why is it so much slower by just adding that one parameter to it let me let me take that out again and just take a look is that really um, by inserting a tuple it makes it five seconds yeah look at that that's the difference there hashing hashing this tuple is fine but hashing a tuple of with the tuple inside is slow Kafka says, I think you want a hash map. Oh, yeah, you're right. Because now I'm 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 saying that I visited this location with this particular distance. And if I find it with a different distance, yeah. You're right. Now I figure if if I make it this way, then I can dump out the visited. And I don't know if that'll help me determine why we can't find. Um let me do this. If backwards then println visiting v with dist I'll lock plus one let me see what comes out of it i'm not going to run it here because it's going to be a lot of output let's save it and i can say cargo run less i can get rid of that my funk That's the wrong day. Um, let's pull up the test input. Uh, Kafka says, or, or create a new type with a custom hash that only hashes the first entry, but now we've just created a weird roundabout hash map. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, what did I break? Oh, I forgot to comment that out. Okay, so let's try this here. And we should want, be able to watch it walk. So visiting one five, so one five. Yeah, so, oh, it went from, one, two, three, four, five. So it went from Z to X, which is not allowed. So that filter's not working, right? My backwards filter. So elevation minus one. Oh, I got the minus one on the wrong side. Let's try again. Kafka says minus one. It does say five. What's the, what the and the correct answer is 29. All right, oh, I'm going to try Kafka's version. Oh, elevation plus one. Uh, less than or equal to this. Yeah, I, my, my brain is just not built for this kind of... We didn't get any. We didn't get any. Okay. So it should be able to go left, and it should... And that's it. It should only be able to go left. So the first one should be a 2-4. All right, so we're at elevation Z, and our new elevation has to be, yeah, it has to be greater than, because we should be able to go ZY. So our new elevation, which is self-grid pos 0, pos 1, should be greater than or equal to our current elevation minus 1. Our new elevation should be greater than or equal to our current elevation minus one. All right, let's try that. 
29. Okay, so that was it. Wow, that was painful. Um, so now we can get rid of those lines. Um, and then let's put a blank line there. And then up here, we can use the real input. Uh, try doing cargo run without the less. And in debug mode, we have 450. Oh, okay. That's even faster. That's even faster still. Okay. That makes me happy. All right. Let's get rid of all of this mess. Right. And the only thing that's bugging me now is is the fact that we need to do this and and um, so capturing the environment, right? So it's doing this. I wonder if we could just instead of doing it that way, we could have it pass in the two elevations, right? So the grid could be here. This self grid business can be up here, and then we could just say position one, position two. Let me uh, commit these changes. Oops. Uh, bacon. Whoopee. Oh, what did I break? Oh, this is Clippy telling me I don't need to do a whole bunch of cloning. That makes me happy. Um, and 81, we don't need to clone. 95, we don't need the clone. Really? And this if has identical blocks. Oh, right. So I could say if this or. That. Huh? And I think I think or has lower precedence than and. So we shouldn't need the braces, but I'll put them in there anyway. Not braces, uh, bra uh, parens. And then we have one more clone to remove. Wow, okay. That's pretty clean. And this, in debug mode, it's how fast? Yeah. And if I cargo run in release mode, Wow, takes a while to build re release mode code, doesn't it? All right, um, but that should be that. Get status, yeah. So two millisecond and one millisecond. So git commit dash am breadth search for 2022 day 12. Come it. Okay. Um, and then what was I thinking of we could we could do instead? I think that's it. Oh right, changing this to be to, instead of passing in the grid position, we should be able to pass in a regular U8 and have them compare that way. And then this just becomes the position here is u size u size. We can say grid self grid pause zero self grid oh, pause one. And then this becomes a new elevation. Cur elevation. And this becomes cur olive, and this becomes new elive. Same with this. Cur elive. 
Her olive. Oh. You ate. Oh, um, this should be new. Okay. Yeah. All right. So those are still working. And I think it's a little bit cleaner um, because now we're just comparing elevations. Um, but you should be able to add one to both sides, right? But it's still, it's still, and then you still have to flip the, the sign. I was just trying to think for consistency. Oops. For consistency, the two should be something plus one, right? So it would be cur elev less than or equal to new elev plus one. Is that right? Yes. Okay. And I think that's what you were trying to tell me earlier, Kafka, is you just, you just flip the parameters around and then everything just works. Um, and I just, like I said, my brain, I, I have a very old, very creaky brain. Um, and then the other thing, so I have to stop, unfortunately. I have to stop streaming, but I, I'm going to look up what the requirements are here in terms of creating a closure and when you have to put the din and when you don't have to put the the uh, the din all right um let's do a quick clippy get diff yeah i think i think that's a cleaner closure And that's what we'll call it. And then we'll push the changes and call it a stream. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. Getting that a little bit nicer and a little bit working better. The, the breadth first search really is a much better approach. Uh, so I'm glad that um, I'm glad I got feedback on that. Um, and yeah, maybe maybe A star would be even faster. Um, I just have to get A star into my working memory set, so I can just implement it without having to look it up. All right.